Hello guys, today I am going to discuss about the topic uh, outlier analysis. Uh, let's see what is this outlier, what is meant by outlier analysis, what are the causes of outliers and what are the applications of the outliers. So those who are watching for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, let's uh, go into the topic. See, first what is meant by an outlier first of all. So any data point uh, which will behave in an abnormal manner, not in the normal it will behave in an abnormal manner so which will be considered as an outlier data point which will be considered as an outlier data point so such objects which are grossly different from each and every point will be there which is different from the other data points or inconsistent with the remaining set of data points these are called as the outliers these are called as the outliers so generally suppose if we take the example of the students uh, few students will be there who will behave in an abnormal manner or uh, uh, few will give respect to the students if 90 percent of the students will ref, uh, will give respect to the faculty means few students will be there who will behave in some different manner so such kind of students we can call it like uh, outliers all uh, okay and what are the causes of the outliers what are the causes of the outliers here See, uh, outliers may be caused by the measurement. Measurement means uh, we can take it like the distance from one data point to the other data point. And uh, one more thing is, uh, uh, it is uh, another cause is we can consider like the execution errors. So, while executing, we, if we are going to get some different kinds of errors means that is cause and uh, outliers. So, many algorithms will be there where, we'll, where uh, we will try to minimize the influence of the outliers or we will try to completely emulate these outliers. So, these are the few causes of the outliers. Huh? And uh, what are the applications of the outliers? Let's see. See, applications of the outliers, we are having few applications are there here. That is the credit card fraud detections and the telecom fraud applications and customer segmentations and the medical analysis. See, what is this credit card fraud detection? Credit card means uh, generally if you try to swipe any type of videos, uh, any type of credit cards, uh, sorry. If you, whenever you are swiping the card, uh, the normal customer, he uses it to swipe uh, like uh, for amount uh, between 5k to 20k or like that now, but if he is a fraud means he will you he will try to make the building nearly to 1 lakh or the 10 lakhs uh, like that he use it to use the the credit card as that credit card is not belongs to him he can use it in whatever the way we want so basic uh, behavior of the normal customer and the fraud customer we will try to analyze it and we will consider this particular uh, abnormal behavior of the fraud as an outlier here so this is one example of the credit card fraud detection and telecom fraud detection like um, uh, telecom fraud detection uh, from the telecom also we are having many number of calling records are there and a uh, few will be there which are anonymous calls will be there and a uh, few calls will be there normal calls means uh, just we will speak up to 5 minutes 10 minutes or 15 minutes and there are few people will be there who will be speaking for more number of time uh, uh, such type of uh, call records we will try to analyze it and we will uh, be considered those things as the telecom fraud detections uh, and uh, customer segmentation customer segmentation means we will try to find out the um, buying habits of the customers here what type of customers will be there who will be frequently purchasing the products that means uh, there are people who will purchase regularly there are people who will purchase very irregular manner there are people who will not purchase any products even during the complete year also so like that we will try to make uh, the segmentation of the customers based upon their uh, purchasing habits next one is the medical analysis what is this medical analysis medical analysis means uh, see if we are having any diseases suppose what we will do we will go to the doctor and we will try to take some reports and uh, we will try to analyze the few things here so here uh, there are few cases will be there where it will show some abnormal behaviors like uh, uh, the response uh, or uh, the reports will be completely different from the normal persons if anything is devi deviated from the normal values we will consider like uh, these things will be as an outliers so in almost all the applications we will use these uh, outlier analysis but uh, how this outlier analysis can be visualized means uh, uh, with the help of some of the BI tools, uh, business intelligence tools, we can report these outliers like this. See, if you see this particular example, this is one cluster and this is the another cluster. But there are three points will be there which will not be either in the cluster 1 or in the cluster 2. So, these are completely in the outside. So, this is the visualization analysis where I can find out what are the normal data points and what are the outliers here. 
see if you consider these are the few data points uh, which are in the normal way but uh, this is the point where it is going to lie completely outside of this particular uh, data points and if you see this particular figure also this yellow color data point it will shows you the an outlier point and uh, there are few points uh, see if you these are the collective outliers so uh, these are completely collective points where uh, uh, it is uh, just like we have shown like a regression line but uh, these are the few data points are there which will completely lies uh, from this regression line so such a type of outliers uh, we are going to show with the help of the visualization analysis see how many types of visualization uh, approaches are there to find out uh, the outliers in our given data points see here uh, given n number of data points are there and k expected number of outliers are there here so if i want to find out what are the k top k dissimilar objects in my given data set uh, first i have to define what is my inconsistent data so i have to remove whatever the noisy data is there in my data set i have to remove my noisy data and i have to define what is my inconsistent data here and uh, i have to find out what are the residuals in the regression lines and what are the difficulties in the multi dimensional data or the non numeric data so i can mine the outliers based upon the visualization based methods what are those visualization based methods that means from the diagrammatic or from the graphical approaches i can able to easily figure out uh, what are the outliers in my given data sets so for that uh, we are having the different types of approaches are there for this outlier mining so four types of techniques are there for finding the outlier analysis we will say what is this four types of one techniques here that is the statistical approach distance based approach density based outlier approach and last one is the deviation based approach so we will see uh, these four topics in the next upcoming videos so thank you guys thank you for watching